Hey guys, this is Johan for the Maker of, um, and today I want to show you something that I've been working on. I previously made a tutorial with this little guy about the walk cycle, but I thought maybe it's it's nice to see you know how it all started off, and um, it's sort of actually in Illustrator, not in After Effects. Um, and so what I did is I created this little uh, boy. Now where is he? There he is. Um, in Illustrator, I uh, I use it. It's a vector program, right? And the thing I love about Illustrator is that whatever I make, if I scale it up, if I zoom in, lines are all crisp. Um, so I drew this guy. I gave all the layers the proper names, like arm left or arm right, all that kind of stuff. So when I import it in um, After Effects, I have all these uh, different layers to play with, and you know I can I can do the little subtle movements. Which is great. So um, let's you know let's just try and and and, and make a new project here. Um, so uh, I want to save it. Yeah, I want to save it. Uh, so we start uh, by importing our file. So I have to look for the little schoolboy and let's see where he is. There he is. Um, I'm going for composition, retain layer sizes. Um, you will see that he will show up and that immediately actually we have a problem. Um, thing is, he's really small, right? I, I made him really, really small. So let's let's make a new composition and you can see how small he actually is. This one is 1920 by 1080, which is like the proper size for like uh, all the video stuff. And I'll drop my schoolboy in there and then you can see how small he actually is. You know, he's, he's tiny. So I'll just hit S for scale. I'll scale them up a little, and this looks a lot better. Um, thing is, now he's blurry, right? And that's not the same as what was happening in Illustrator. There, everything was super crisp. That's actually why I made it in a vector program, right? So, so I have these crisp lines. Um, and and what happens, you know, if I uh, duplicate this one? Suppose um, I just duplicate this one. I, I I bring it over here. Because I want to, I want to see the face up close, right? Um, so I make him even bigger. I want to see, you know, like uh, the face. It's even more blurry, right? This is really not what I want. Okay. Luckily, this is a very easy fix. So uh, what we do is we go into uh, our schoolboy uh, composition and hit this right here. This little sun thing. It's called rasterize. So we have to do this for all the layers. Um, so I'll, I'll try to do that quickly for you guys. Um, just you know, hit them all. It's it's pretty straightforward and easy. Hit them all, and you can see immediately how it changed. Right here, the, this little guy is a lot crisper. Um, and didn't really do much here. I mean, this one is a little crisper. This one is still blurry. That's because I didn't do it over here yet. Right, I have to hit these two, and now you see he's all sharp. Um, and that's a good thing. So, you know, if uh, if I make him do stuff now. It's sharp, no matter how much I zoom in, and that's what we want, right? It saves me a lot of work. I don't have to draw like two different versions of him zoomed out and him, you know, like scaled up or something. You know, it's just a couple of uh, uh, tick boxes, but you know, then everything is set. So I hope this was useful for you. You know, if you have any uh, vector drawings that you imported straight from Illustrator, because you know it's just an easier program maybe for you to draw in. Uh, you can make great stuff. Uh, you can zoom in as much as you want. Don't have to worry about it. I hope this um, simplifies your workflow. Um, I'll be back with another tutorial, probably about this guy too. I'm not sure yet, but I think you might have some questions about you know how to make a proper loop. Uh, I just did the basic intro, so uh, I might do that as well. And if not, it will be something else. So I'll see you again and stay creative.